Hey Secret Vlog. So today is August 10th, my sister's birthday. I haven't called her yet. Whew. I need to remember that. Okay. I'll do that right after this. Um, oh yes, the chubby cow. So I made a second version of the head and I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm not 100% on the ears yet, but check it out. Isn't it so cute? See if I can focus it better. I'm, I'm really pretty happy with it. I think it might benefit from like some little pink nostrils and I don't know, maybe something with the ears. They seem a little, little pixelated to me. And like we've got the black and white in the eyes and we've got kind of these black and white transitions around here. It looks, it looks a tad bit messy, which isn't my very favorite. Um, but then again, like cows don't have like perfect straight lines in like their color transitions. So maybe it's fine. I don't know. I'm mostly happy with it, but not like 100%. And so then if we put that on the body, it looks kind of like this. Okay, you guys can't see that. <laughs> I think the body is a little bit skinny for how big the head is in comparison. So I'm thinking maybe we add, either we add one more row in between the legs or I just, right now the body is 27 um, stitches around. I'm thinking maybe we go 30 just to give it that little bit extra fluff because I think it would benefit from just a little bit more and then I've got to figure out the tail and then this bad boy's done so yeah I'm I'm really happy with it honestly I think it's it's cute um and I think it would be cute if you did it you know as um you could do a who what are they called they're the kind they're not red angus but they're, they're white and then they have red bodies. So you could do like that kind of cow. Is it a Hereford? Maybe. So like this is a Holstein color. Jersey would be adorable. I love Jersey cows. Um, you could do a Highland cow with like his little, like little curly hair here. Let's be honest, that one I probably will make because I can't resist it. Um, what else? I mean, there are lots of other kinds of cows. You could just do a completely black cow, do a black Angus. You could do a white cow. I don't remember what their name is. I know a couple of cows, but certainly not all of them. You could do a red cow for a red Angus. You can make little horns. You could do a Texas Longhorn, make this guy just uh, with uh, sort of that red and white. Okay, that's enough cows. I know, I'm just spouting off cow terminology like I know stuff. I know a little bit, but not very much. All of this to say, I'm pretty happy with this. Not completely sold. I still probably need to do some ruminating. Um, but on the whole, I think it's, it's good. So like I said, this is the original body. Um, so I think I mentioned before that like I closed off I kind of like closed it off here a little bit too abruptly, like it's got a better shape here and then it's kind of like, whoop. So I'm going to add another row here so it decreases a little bit slower and rounds off more nicely. Um, and I might switch the white foot to this side because we've got black here. So I might do this one a white foot and then this one a black foot. Um, and other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. So, I don't know if I have much else to say. I w okay, I will say I was working on this um, when I went to my very first um, open craft night at the Village Yarnery, which is a, um, a local yarn shop in Springfield. And it was, it was really fun when I put the ears on and kind of showed people, they're like, oh, it's so cute. And I was just like, thank you. Because the first one, the first head I attempted really wasn't very good. So I'm really happy that the second one has worked out. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hopefully the next chubby cow vlog will be it completed, tail figured out and everything. So I'm excited to share it.